Thank you for joining us for this sermon podcast from United Church on the Green, located in New Haven, Connecticut. No matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, you are invited and welcome. If you enjoy this podcast and would like to learn more about our open and affirming ministry at United Church on the Green, please visit our website at unitednewhaven.org. Thank you. Let us turn to Isaiah chapter 6, if you can. And if you'd like to simply listen, you can do that too. Vamos a mirar hoy al pasaje de Isaías 6, versículo 1 al 8. Isaiah 6, Isaiah 6, verses 1 through 8. And it reads in the name of the Creator, the Christ, and the Holy Ghost. Lee en el nombre del Creador, del Cristo y del Espíritu Santo. The people say amen. 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 In the year of King Uzziah's death, I saw the Lord sitting on high, on a high and exalted throne. The edges of his robe filling the temple, winged creatures were stationed around him. Each had six wings, with two they filled their faces, with two their feet, and with two they flew about. They shouted to each other, saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of heavenly forces. All the earth is filled with God's glory. Toda la tierra llena de la gloria de Dios. The door frame shook at the sound of their shouting, and the house was filled with smoke. I said, Mourn for me, I am ruined. I am a man with unclean lips and live among a people with unclean lips. Yet I've seen the King, the Lord, of heavenly forces. Then one of the winged creatures flew to me holding a glowing coal that he had taken from the altar with tongs. He touched my mouth and said, see, this has touched your lips, your guilt has departed and your sin is removed. Somebody say, your sin is removed. Your sin is removed. Then I heard the Lord's voice saying, whom should I send and who will go for us? Escuché la voz del Señor decir, ¿A quién enviaré o quién irá por nosotros? And I said, I am here. Send me. Amen. Estoy aquí, envíame aquí, envíame a mí. God, I thank you for the reading of this scripture today. I ask you to help us see the meaning in this passage. Help us see the meaning as it relates to us. Help us understand it. Help us, help it be practical to us today as we meditate on these words to be spoken. Amen. 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 So the year that King Uzziah died, he had been such a great king. El año que el rey Osía murió, él fue un rey maravilloso. During his kingdom, during his reign, the kingdom of Judah had seen much prosperity. Durante el reinado de él, el reino vio mucha prosperidad. Pero llegó un momento a donde su arrogancia le ganó. There came a time where his arrogance won the best of him. So he became, he, he became sick with leprosy. Se enfermó con lepra. He was to live exiled in a separate home. Él tenía que vivir exiliado en otro hogar, lejos del rey, como era la costumbre. And so you see, now they find themselves, the kingdom of Judah, mourning a king, mourning someone who has passed, who was their leader for so long. Ellos están ahora sufriendo la partida de alguien en su vida que reinó y que les causó seguridad, les dio seguridad en algún tiempo. And now they fear the Assyrians. Ellos ahora temen a los asirios porque les amenaza. They have now threatened, they had taken Israel, now they were about to take the kingdom of Judah. And although it may seem that in your life there are threats that Come on now. seem scary. Come on, somebody. Come on. 
aunque hayan amenazas en tu vida que, que te desafíen, you have to know that greater is the one who is with you than the one that is in the world. That's right. That's right. Tienes que saber que más grande es aquel que está contigo que aquel que está en el mundo. Because you may be in a situation, you may be living a narrative, but you may not belong to that narrative. Tú tal vez estás viviendo una circunstancia de transición, una circunstancia, un narrativo, pero no perteneces a ese narrativo. Because you may be going through a trial, but you are not of that trial. Come on, somebody. Life is full of transitions. El mundo, la vida está llena de transición. But God, somebody say, but God, we'll see you through. Dios te va a dar la salida. Amen. And praise God. Give me, some, give me some love. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. You see, we may be in whatever circumstance we find ourselves, but we do not belong to that circumstance. It is a bridge to your tomorrow. And that is the promise. That is the vision that Isaiah saw. He had a vision of the true king of Israel, of the true king of Judah, of the entire, what used to be a unified kingdom. El vio el rey verdadero de Israel y de Judá. In a vision. He himself felt unqualified. Today's message title is unqualified but still chosen. Somebody say unqualified but still chosen. Still chosen. No estamos, no calificamos, pero nos escogió como quiera. And so here he finds himself seeing this vision of beautiful celestial beings in a kingdom. They had forgotten about the true king of Israel. They were so focused on the kings that reigned in Israel and Judah that they forgot about the true person who set all things in motion, the author of the universe. The God that had made covenant with Abraham, the God that had made covenant with Moses, the God that made covenant with David. El Dios que hizo pacto con Abraham, con Moisés y con David, se habían olvidado del Dios, el autor del universo. And so now, as Uzziah is out of the picture, ahora como Uzziah se fue del retrato ya que había muerto, what needs to happen is that another king, a successor, perhaps his son Ahaz, now has, or his grandson Ahaz, now has to enter into the place of the monarchy. And God reveals to Isaiah, and so he writes, that the true king is not, a, is not one of flesh and bone. And, and because it was difficult for them to <coughs> grasp, that, grasp that after hundreds of years, after having kings, there was a promise of an anointed one that would come and reign because they needed to see their promise in flesh and bone. Amen. We have a hard time with faith. Nosotros tenemos dificultad con nuestra fe a veces. We need to see it to believe it. And although you may need to see things to believe things, although you may struggle with something or two, God has still chosen you, mm -hmm. even though you feel unqualified. Mm -hmm. Even though you don't see it, you're still chosen. Yeah. Even if you don't, if you didn't know it, you're still chosen. Mm -hmm. Even if you didn't, before you even walked into it, you were still, God spoke to Jeremiah and said, I knew you in your mother's womb. Mm -hmm. Te conocí en el vientre de tu mamá. That's the God that I believe in. Ese es el Dios en cual yo creo. When Isaiah said, I am a man of unclean lips, he was saying that I am one who is imperfect. I have flaws. How, what can I do with a God so holy and with a message so holy and so powerful and so transformative in my time? What can I do? ¿Qué puedo hacer yo siendo una persona imperfecta con, de, con, con falta? Con un mensaje tan santo y un mensaje y un Dios tan santo como lo eres tú. 
the celestial being in his, in his vision came with a pair of tongues that not even the angel could touch. Came with a piece of coal and just passed it over his lips and just cleansed his lips. A powerful and visual device. The celestial being said, fine. You think you're a person of unclean lips? Mm. You think you're a person who is imperfect? Let me cleanse that part of you mm -hmm. that you deem will be your demise. Mm -hmm. So the angel came and brushed that coal upon his lips. Mm -hmm. El ángel vino y pasó carbón encendido sobre sus labios, limpiando los labios de aquel hombre. But the vision didn't happen because he had clean lips. La visión no sucedió porque tenía labios limpios. La visión le pasó y le pasó a él. The vision happened and it happened to him because God had chosen him. Not because of how he looked like. Not because of, of, of who he loved. Not because of what he did or didn't do or stopped doing. But because God chose him. And chose him for a reason. And he chose him. For a season. Yeah. If you think that God perhaps might be choosing you mm. for mm. some work, mm. you, talk about it. Thanks, you better not say, I can't do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You better not say, Can, I need to get an amen right now. I need to. <laughs> you can't say, I don't want to hear you say, but I'm not ready yet. Amen. Oh, I don't have clean lips. Go ahead on. What we need to say is, here I am. Yeah. Isaiah was echoing the words, Isaiah estaba hablando las palabras que Moisés habló. Las palabras que Abraham habló. He was echoing the words of Abraham, of Moses, of even Samuel. And he said, here I am. When he recognized that it was the voice of God, mm -hmm. the voice of the divine, speaking out over you, saying, <coughs> there is something for you, and it does not require that you do or don't do anything. Amen. See, the love of God doesn't just reach us or touch us or transforms us for nothing. Just to make God, God's love doesn't just isn't just there for ourselves, but for a reason. That through you, que a través de ti, tú puedas demostrar el amor de Dios. That through you, you can demonstrate the promise and love of God for a people that is lost. Now, there's a lot of lost people out there. Yes, oh, yes. 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 But God has still chosen them mm. to. Right. You know, we're a tribalistic community. We live in a tribalistic world. Vivimos en un, en un mundo de tribu. Nos separamos de otro grupo. Y nos olvidamos que Dios está para con ellos también. And we forget that God is also working God's way toward them also. You know, there are people that are lost that hurt you. But they're not, see, other people say that the root of all evil is money. Mm. Awesome. I've always said that the root of all evil is egocentrism. Mm. There's a lot of lost people that will hurt you, but they won't hurt you because they want to hurt you. They're hurting you because they're thinking about themselves. Mm. Hay gente que te van a, a fastidiar, que te van a herir, pero no lo están haciendo porque quieren herirte, sino porque ellos mismos están perdidos y están perdidos en su egoísmo. Yeah, yeah. Wow. When you begin to understand that, you begin to have compassion. You begin to understand the message. Yes. yes. The full message of God. The wider message. The wider welcome. The wider love. El amor más grande. El amor de la bienvenida de Dios. Empezamos a entender lo que Dios verdaderamente quiere hacer con nosotros. Amen. Just like King Isaiah had perished because, according to uh, some of the other books in the Bible, like Second Chronicles, he had perished because of his leprosy, because... And because of that, he, because of his disobedience, por su desobediencia, because he had entered into the temple to offer incense when that wasn't his job. We like to do things that nobody told us to do. We like to do other people's work for them. 
Mm. And we may not do it because we want to hurt others, we do it because it makes us feel good. It makes us feel like, yeah, I can do this too. <coughs> so because of that, according to tradition, he had perished. Isaiah receives a vision, sees the true king, sees the true message of a people that had become lost and a people that was scared. One of the best things that God can do is speak in the midst of your fear. Mm -hmm. Because 1 John 4 says that the perfect love casts all, all fear. Que el perfecto amor, dice primero de Juan, capítulo 4, que el perfecto amor echa fuera todo el temor. So we don't have to be qualified. Mm. Seeing other people come and go, seeing other people's demise, seeing other people mess up, sometimes can scare us. Mm -hmm. And when we hear that God wants to have relationship with us and wants to use us in some way to transform our communities and to spread the love of Jesus Christ, what we know as Jesus Christ, we tend to become scared also because we think that we can't do it. So if there, if there is one thing that I want to communicate to you all today, say, hi, go que quiero comunicarle a usted nuevo. Es que eres escogido. You are chosen. And chosen of God. That's right. Amen. And it does not matter. Your resume doesn't matter. <coughs> how much good you've done or how much good you haven't done doesn't matter. You are chosen because God loves you. Eres escogido porque Dios te ama. Y como Dios te ama y lo has reconocido, because God loves you and because you recognize it, because you recognize grace and you know what grace looks like, God will show you things that other people don't, haven't seen yet. That's right. Amen. Amen. Dios te va a enseñar y mostrar cosas que otras personas no han visto. So while the majority is preaching a gospel that is exclusive, mientras la mayoría están predicando un mensaje que es exclusivo, que es de tribu, que es separatista, while others are preaching a separatist gospel, while others are preaching a tribalistic gospel, God is showing us a vision of the true gospel. Like Isaiah saw the true king. What reigns in my life is the true grace of Jesus, the true love of Jesus. I don't need nobody to tell me I'm unqualified or disqualified or Qualified if I have I, Jesus has qualified me. That's right. And has cleaned my lips. <coughs> and me grace. Yes, yes. That's right. And if you believe it with me, say amen. 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 amen.
Spirit. Let your Spirit fill this place. Thank you for the vision and for the word, for the grace. And we say, thank you, oh Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, oh Amen. Que tu amor tiene este lugar. Gloria sea a Dios. Amén.